Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Still PK, and I make WordPress tutorials for designers and developers. Uh, now, as you can see, I have some plugins ready to go. Well, activated. Um, they are all set up using my own customization plugin, which is something you can download from here and then change maybe the names or the list of the plugins that you want to include. So get it from there and just activate it and you'll be able to install all kinds of stuff. Now, I'm not, I haven't activated redirection and the SEO stuff because this is local anyways, but might as well have it there. Uh, and all I need right now are the image optimizer and deactivate. I can set up image optimizer, uh, but I should actually do that. So I'll, 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 I'll have a quick jump cut right now. Okay, that was a jump cut. The only thing I need in terms of compression Oh, not compression with optimization is to auto optimization on upload. That's all I basically need. So that's about it. Um, and we're done. So let's go to the settings. I don't need League Gothic anymore at the moment, I don't think. Oh, yeah, by the way, League Gothic is on Google fonts. I'm pretty sure. But we're just going to upload it as a file just to show you how to do this, okay? Now, technically, this is pretty much setting up the whole site, setting up the basics, so it can also be included in the overall breakdance setup uh, tutorial that I can make separately for each course. Uh, well, it's one that will go as a baseline course, baseline lesson for each course, does that make sense? But still, um, we probably should do that, and this XD file has been uploaded to the Google Drive uh, link folder, linked share folder that I have linked in the on the website. So you'll see that. So optimized export images will go up there and the XD proof is there. Lee Gothic is also there. Um, the proof, if you don't have XD, uh, you can just see what I'm doing here. It, it, it should help if you have XD. Um, but yeah, I know Figma is free. There's a free version of Figma, but um, I always use XD and I don't think I should just start recreating this again just in Figma for this because it'll take way too much time. So <laughs> I'm just going to leave it here at XD. Um, hope, hope you have it. Um, <laughs> I, I might just export a PDF for you if you need it. Okay. Then you, you, anything can read a PDF, right? So. All right, so this is uh, this is up on the Google Drive, and I'm going to start the timer now, and let's get started. Okay, there we go. Cool. All right, so <clears throat> because here the the headings have been set as Lee Gothic, and the text has been set as Libre uh, Franklin, Liber Libre Libre Franklin, uh, so that's what we're going to use. Uh, and we are also going to talk about a little bit about font sizes, uh, responsive typography, and all that kind of stuff in a minute. Okay, so let's get into there uh, and let's upload uh, the the fonts. Okay, all right. So here we are in Global Styles and setting Global Styles. And if you launch Breakdance, it will open up the Breakdance uh, interface, and you get this. All right. So uh, because it's over here. I'm going to push this over here like that. Now there is a setting. No, maybe is it here? No, maybe it's not here. Okay. Um, I'll just leave it like that, I guess. All right. So <clears throat> let's start. Oh, let's start with colors. Now this is a black and white website. So there's technically no extra brand colors. Uh, this yellow here is the Breakdance brand yellow. Um, that's the Breakdance off black, uh, color black. I use that here as well, but um, that green is not necessarily the main green anywhere. Uh, these buttons are the primary buttons, uh, which should be the brand color. Uh, so it's a little, it's a little, um, a little bit of a difficult to to add that brand color. So we'll just leave that out for now. Um, and we'll figure that out later. All we're going to do right now is just add the text, the headings, and the link colors, and all that, the background colors. So here we have, here we have uh, black. 
All right, it's that color is the black. So we'll use that and the text like that. Yep, there we go. Um, yeah, I'll leave that as is. All right, and we'll add some, we'll add white. Of course, white would be pretty easy. No, <laughs> no, that's not easy at all. All right, there we go. Uh, and let's add a slight gray color, which is the main background color. So that's light gray, F4. Light gray, F4, there we go. And might as well add the green, right? I don't know why there's a green. Played around with different colors, I just ended up with green. So we'll use that. That's that's not a really important, it's not an important color at all, is it? All right. Green. And there we go. Cool. So we got all three colors there. Yep. All right, good. All right, let's, uh, we can set up the buttons, I guess. So in terms of these buttons, that's the basic uh, button that we have. That one's a little larger. Um, could use that, but you know, uh, I don't know. I'll just keep. I'll stick with the. I'll stick with the smaller one. I'll use that everywhere, uh, and we'll we'll figure it out. We'll change it later if we need to. All right. So that is, as you can see, um, it's in 16. Maybe it could be 18. I guess we'll just make it 18, uh, and. It's in, oh, O2, I don't know. We just use regular black, 08, same, nobody can tell anyways. Um, what else we got? The background, the background color is white at 74%, 75, we'll just say 75, 75% and it's got a border, it's got a border of one, you can see here, yeah, okay, cool. So might as well do that right now primary button use that as a primary button let's see what sizes you got oh oh yeah by the way um we'll just save that if we go to the if we go to any page and just open the page builder you will actually see some really cool features uh, and that I think would be helpful to to start with so I'm gonna set that up first um here we go so now we have this preferences element studio is such a cool feature we'll talk about that maybe sometime later but for now that is like the coolest thing i've seen ever in a very long time but for now we're gonna go to preferences okay now in preferences you get your custom fonts we're gonna add that in a minute uh yeah, we'll add that in a minute. Uh, and let's see, element pop out position, side by side, stacked, stacked, first visible. Oh, it's in first visible. Okay, I like first visible um, because things, when it's stacked, it just goes on top of each other and it gets confusing for me. Side by side takes up too much horizontal space, so I like that, the middle one. Um, and what else we got? The structure panel, I like seeing that. Now you can actually add extra breakpoints. Uh, Breakdance has a lot of breakpoints by default. Um, it's got lap, all right, let's, let's just see. Yeah, it's got all that, all right? So it's got desktop. Uh, tablet landscape uh, is just, just large enough to capture 1024 and tablet portrait. Yeah, tablet portrait um, is 1024 is iPad sizes and landscape. 1024 and below would be anything if it goes into portrait. Uh, and then phone landscape, 768, 767 means um, iPad portrait. This is an iPad Pro. I, I don't I have an iPad Pro and a remarkable. So this, but this is a, this is a larger one. So, and yes, I have a Windows XP. A 
Windows XP background on my on my iPad. Um, yeah, so if it's in portrait, it's 768. So anything smaller than that will fall into um, phones. So that's what that is. 480 and smaller is most portraits, uh, phone portraits. However, some phones might be a little smaller. Uh, it might be a little larger than that because 1080p, uh, it can sometimes, sometimes some phones have 1080p on this side and uh, half of those pixels is 540. So 540 is also a good number. I use 550 sometimes and I use 666 sometimes. So, so anyways, uh, yeah, so we're not going to touch that though. We'll just leave it. 480 is a nice number. Everybody uses that anyways. And um, that's it. So let's get back. Let's save that. Let's get back to that. Oh, you know what? We can just, we can just do it here. You can do the global settings here. Why? Yeah, we don't need to go through the settings page and do global settings because this you can do the global settings here anyways. You can't see the content. So oh yeah, you can't see the content. Um, no. Yeah, we'll just go. We'll just go back and see the settings because we just did this already. Uh, we just we're here just for that. Um, Yeah, okay. So, yeah, because this, it's good to see this while you're working. All right, uh, buttons, we were doing this. Now, size, I thought that was, anyways. See, this is why I came here. It's weird, anyways. So, if you look at this, and you see that little dot there? See that little dot? That means that something has changed. If you want to delete that change or take it out, go back to default. If you hover over it, it becomes an X. You click on that X and it's gone, which is, I think, a great feature, uh, especially if you're using a visual builder and there's so many things happening everywhere in all the settings. I think this is really great in helping you find things um, and, and take things out if they're clashing or whatever. And if you hover over anything, most of the times it has uh, um, those uh, responsive settings so that also helps all right we're set it small um, background is gonna be now that that little hand there that means hover we'll talk about that sometime later so that's white and we'll set it at 75 percent I don't know the hex for 75 I'm gonna jump cut I don't need a calculator I just google it says hex for 75 percent is CCC CCC, the color of CCC is that, that, yeah, so that's what that is. So we'll put it in a C there. That's 75%. Cool. Oh, where'd that go? Yeah, okay, so that's that. Uh, let's add an outline. The outline color will be black. Oh, keep clicking outside. I'm not happy with that. All right, width is one, no fill on hover, typography. All right, typography is black. Um, font family. All right, so this is using a Google font, Libre Frank Franklin. We'll be using a Google font, and the headings we'll be using Lee Gothic. We'll set that up in a second. Uh, for now, we're just gonna find Libre Franklin. Oops. Yeah, Franklin. There we go. Uh, font size. I said we we're gonna use 16, so we'll add 16 there. You know what? No, we're not gonna add 16. I'm just gonna use what I'm used to, which is rem. I'll use one rim. Oh, I keep clicking outside. I hated that in Elementor. Uh, what else we got? Squares. No, yep, that's it. We'll leave that as is. I think that's about it for now. Yep. All right, cool. Typography. Uh, cool. Heading font. We need to add that now. We'll get to that in a second. And we'll, oh, we need to add that already. All right. It'd be great if we had the preferences here. All right, I'll save that. All right, let's edit here. Because the preferences are in the page builder. This is not the smoothest of methods. <laughs> All right, we're gonna add a font. All right, so here, as you can see, I have Lee Gothic. And we're gonna use uh, Lee Gothic Condensed, okay? Now, there's a WAF and there's a WAF 2. 
Uh, WAF 2 doesn't work in IE 11, I think, um, and, but they're a little smaller. So WAF 2 is the more modern one, smaller in terms of size by four kilobytes. So I don't care. Uh, I'll just use a WAF 1, okay? So uh, first we start by adding the name, which would be a League Gothic condensed. Add that and we're going to drop in that WAF file. Oh. Font weight. It's bold so we'll just leave it as bold. Yep. Save. And there we go. All good. All right. All right. Let's 13, 13 minutes. All right, let's exit to WordPress. And if we go back to, go back to the settings, um, you will see, if you, if I use, if I have content on the sample page, I would have been able to show you everything. This, I think that's why I keep going back and forth. Uh, but I, I really wanted to do this with some text on the screen, so. Yeah. All right, I'll just do this and I'll show you. So League Gothic Condensed is now here, as you can see, because we added that custom font. And there we go, done, okay? All right, I will see you in the next video and um, like and subscribe to keep up. Um, if you wanna buy Breakdance, follow the affiliate link below and please join our Discord. All right, see you in the next video, bye.